415 miles to the northwest, the Time Bandit steams north to drop pots near the same ice pack that the rest of the fleet avoids at all costs. We need to find new territory here, and we're stretching up north here towards uh, the ice pack, trying to make sure we don't get wiped out by the ice, trying to find crab in the same process. Ice, ice, baby. Some guys fish by the ice pack. You know, that's good crabbing. It could be really good, it could be the same, but at least we know. Fishing near the ice pack not only threatens Captain Andy's spots, but subjects his men to the most painfully bitter temperatures the Bering Sea has to offer. It's like 20 25 below or something with the wind chill, I think. Doesn't take much to freeze. Any kind of spray will instantly freeze to anything, so. Burr. crew is working in soul-crushing temperatures with no end in sight, and they're getting closer to the edge. <laughs> Freaking ripped a hole in my rain pants. Yeah, I got two pairs of rain pants. Now I got one because of that tote. At a certain point, every crabber has a decision to make. Laugh, cry, or go postal. What's he up to now? Solving the problem. Deckhand Mike Fortner makes his choice. I'll have to ask you to stand down. Put your hands over your head. Anger management. Anger Management 101, right here. Jeez. That is how I deal with my anger. Check your fire! Check your fire! 25 below zero, and he tore his rain gear and he had to shoot a tote that did it. <laughs> 